During a recent session of the UK Defence Committee, concerns were raised about the country's ability to upgrade its Challenger 2 tanks to Challenger 3. This discussion, which took place on November 15, 2023, revealed significant challenges. The committee chair emphasized the military budget reduction, amounting to a cut of £30 billion since 2015, and its impact on military capabilities. Cited examples included replacing 32 AS-90s with 14 archers, discontinuing the warrior program, and the limited number of Challenger 3 tanks planned for purchase. The Secretary of State for Defense, Grant Shapps, affirmed the government's commitment to defense spending and upcoming improvements for the Army. However, MP Kevin Jones expressed skepticism about the Challenger 3 upgrades. He highlighted the shortage of Challenger 2 tanks available for upgrade and potential delays in the program, questioning the feasibility of integrating new technologies into older tank models. The Challenger 3 tank is a notable evolution of the British Army's Challenger 2 main battle tank. Among its improvements are a redesigned turret and an enhanced main gun, often a 120mm smoothbore cannon, which increases its firepower. In terms of protection, the Challenger 3 benefits from advanced armor systems, such as reactive and composite armor, making it more resistant to anti-tank weapons. Mobility is also a strong point of the Challenger 3, thanks to a more powerful engine and an improved suspension system. The Challenger 3's development history is rooted in the British Army's need to modernize its combat tanks to remain competitive in contemporary combat environments. The process began with the recognition of the need to modernize the Challenger 2, leading to the announcement by the British government of plans to upgrade part of its fleet. The selection of the contractor for this project was a competitive process. This modernization project involved substantial changes, including a complete redesign of the turret and significant improvements in armament, protection, and electronic systems. The Challenger 3 prototypes underwent rigorous testing to assess their performance and reliability, as well as their compliance with operational requirements. The aim of this project was to provide a state-of-the-art main battle tank capable of effectively facing current and future threats while maintaining good interoperability with NATO forces. MP Marc Francois drew comparisons with the Ajax project, noting similarities in the attempt to mount new equipment on existing armored vehicles, which had previously led to significant problems. Despite the government's commitment to enhancing the Army's capabilities, these operational and logistical challenges in the Challenger 3 upgrade project remain a topic of concern.